coming up. In this video, you will learn how to add hover effects to your Beaver Builder photo modules. By using a custom class and some custom CSS, you can easily add these really cool hover effects to your images. Here's how to add hover effects to the Beaver Builder photo module. First, let's add a photo module to your page. Next, go ahead and configure the photo module as you normally would. Once you've finished up, click the Advanced tab. Scroll down to the HTML element section, and in the class field, you will enter your custom class depending upon which effect you want to achieve. In this example, let's go ahead and zoom in. Next, you will need to add the CSS for the effect wherever you put your custom CSS. I will link up to this knowledge base article in the description below this video. Go ahead and copy the CSS for the effect you want. Here we will copy the code to zoom in. Note that the transition speeds in these CSS examples are set to 0.3 seconds. You can change the value to speed up or slow down the effect. Let's head back over to our website and we will add our CSS code site-wide. Click the title bar in the upper left corner to open up the tools menu. Scroll down and click on global settings to apply the CSS to our entire site. If you prefer to only apply the CSS to this single page, you would click on Layout CSS in JavaScript instead. But for this example, we are going to apply it to Global Settings. In the pop-up, click on CSS and paste the CSS code that we just copied here. Click Save. This code will now appear in Tools, Global settings on any Beaver Builder page, but the CSS rules will apply to all content areas of your site, whether or not they were built with Beaver Builder. If you have multiple photo modules in a row, like we have here, and you want to apply an effect to the entire set, you can add the effects CSS to the class field on the advanced tab in the row settings as opposed to each of the individual photo module settings. To do this, simply click on the gear icon for the row settings and in the pop-up, click on the advanced tab and scroll down to the HTML elements tab. In the class field, you will enter your custom class to apply to the entire row. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.